Hey everybody, welcome to Average Shows 3D. I'm your host Fergie. Now this is printing with a one millimeter nozzle in a CR10 part two. I wanted to show you the settings that we used in Simplify 3D. <clears throat> Remember, I put a one in a one millimeter nozzle on a CR10 without any changes to hardware. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is a simple Batman bust. It's going to be 200 millimeters tall. So it's about 8 inches tall. And let's take a look at the settings we're using for this. So I'm using a 10% info, which is pretty common. You'll notice my nozzle diameter is 40.4 millimeters. Extrusion width is going to be 0.4 millimeters. Everything else is the same. In layers, they have three top, three bottom and two on the side, or two shells. And my temperature is going to be about 210. Now I do change to 220 for using the bigger nozzle, but let's see how long it would take. So I'm going to prepare to print. You notice up here it says 6 hours and 23 minutes. That's pretty average for an 8 inch bus like this. Let's see if we made just a few changes what it would be at 1 millimeters. Okay, so we changed the nozzle diameter to 1, the extrusion width to 1. Now I'm going to keep the layers at 2. Now I'm using two layers, so it's 2 millimeters. With the other one, we had two shells. And the two shells, it was going to be 0.8. So we went from 0.8 as a perimeter shell to 2.0 as our perimeter shell. Now you say I would change the temperature to 220, but I won't worry about that right now. And I hit OK. And we'll go ahead and prepare to print. And let's see what the changes are here. Now you'll notice here that it says it's now 3 hours and 50 minutes. It's not quite a half of the speed, but it's pretty darn close. We went from six hours to three hours. And as you can see from the print, the resolution that we expect is still going to be pretty good. Now, if you take a look at this, you'll notice it up here. Uh, this is a part I'm going to have to fill in. And the shoulders over here. And... Over here, I'll probably have to fill those in as well because I don't know if you can quite see that, but there's going to be a lot of space with the one millimeter. But on the sides and on the angles, it's showing that it's going to be really smooth. I won't have any problem. So these are two areas they're going to have to fill in, but on most models, I'm used to filling in the top anyway. It's just going to take a little bit more fill than usual. So on a part where I'm cutting the print time in half, that might be a good compromise. Uh, if not, you can always change back to a 0.4 millimeter shell and um, at any time to print it a little bit smoother. Let's go ahead and take a look at what 0.4 would have done for us. Okay. As you see, you can always zoom in when you're taking a look at prints, it helps a lot to know what to expect in the final. And so now you can see that although there's still going to be some fill-in here, it's not going to be as much fill-in as um, the one millimeter. But it's going to be close. I'm still going to need a bit of fill-in because there's some jagged lines here that I would have to go to instead of being 0 0.2, 0 0.1. In fact, I'm kind of interested. Let's see what happens if we go to 0.1. Okay, so we're going to go... Oh, that was fast. We're going to go to high. Let's go to medium. Here you should go medium. And 10% fill. Okay, I didn't realize that was on fast. So, if it wasn't on fast... Alright, um, that's going to be 8 hours and 47 minutes. And at one millimeter, pretty good. 
five hours. So it went from eight hours to five hours. Let's see if we cranked up the resolution a little bit more than that. Instead of medium high, at 0 0.4, 0 0.4. All right, it's preparing to print. Okay, you can see there's a lot more, less felon. That takes up to 15 hours. And if we were going to one, so it happens at one millimeter. A lot less fill-in. That's at 10 hours. So we could actually print at fine quality one millimeter and it'd be about the same time as medium quality for the 0.4 millimeter. But all in all, um, I don't see a lot of downside to printing a little bit bigger and uh, trying to get a little bit faster print. Uh, like I say, if you want super fine quality, you can definitely go with a smaller nozzle, but right now, about one millimeter is really giving me some really durable prints. And I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and run it there for a couple more days. Maybe doing a little, something a little bit more intricate like this bust of Batman. I'll actually print this out. I'll let you know how it turns out. So that's the settings in Simplify 3D. We're just changing the nozzle extrusion, extrusion from 0.4 to 1 millimeter. Now you can definitely go into Simplify 3D if you're really familiar with it. And dial in the 1 millimeter even more than I have. I just went and did the least amount of dialing impossible, still getting pretty good results. Um, and so it may work out fine for you. Try it out, let me know. As always, go ahead and subscribe below. The more you subscribe, the more we can do with the channel. And I hope you enjoy part two of the one millimeter on a CR-10. You guys have a great day.